Our state's fight against COVID-19 continues. The State Department of Public Health says there were 2,665 new cases reported just since Friday. And we're seeing more contagious COVID variants spread. So in today's To Your Wellbeing, our health expert tells us about the role we all play in protecting each other and fighting this pandemic. Joining us today for To Your Wellbeing is Cone Health's COVID-19 lead physician, Dr. Brent McQuaid. For those who've not chosen to get the vaccine yet, the big question is why now? Why is it so important? Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, well, we know that vaccination is extremely safe and effective. The Delta variant, which has been giving us so much trouble in the United States and really worldwide over the last, um, well, two to three months now is incredibly infectious. And so having a population that's protected with immunity provided by vaccination helps control this spread. We're seeing many, many people die. Um, our ICUs are filled with people who are unvaccinated. And, um, you know, we know that the more people that we can get vaccinated, uh, frankly, just leads to fewer deaths in our community here in the triad. So if you've already been vaccinated, a lot of people are saying I've done my part. No one else is doing their part. I should be done with this. Is there anything more you should be doing? Yeah, we live in, you know, a community, right? And so um, it is frustrating when we see other individuals who are making choices that um, are really for themselves and not for the best of the community, but, but we all need to contribute to the community's greater good. Um, and so, you know, if you've been vaccinated, that's wonderful. Thank you. We're glad that you've done that to protect your neighbors, to protect your loved ones, to protect, you know, those friends and family that you could have given the virus to. However, we also know that wearing a mask and social distancing is important um, because there's been reports that we've seen from the CDC that show that Delta can be spread even among vaccinated individuals. The vaccination will protect you personally uh, from severe complications. However, you can still catch it and spread it. So that's why, even if you're vaccinated, so that's why wearing a mask is really important. We hear that if you have symptoms, you should still get tested for COVID. Why is that so important too? It's important to know, right? Um, you know, so let's say you're vaccinated, you come down with a cold, um, you know, odds are very good that you're going to come through that just fine because of your vaccination status. We simply uh, just don't see many people in our hospitals who are fully vaccinated who are critically ill. The vast majority, greater than 90 percent of what we see are people who um, are unvaccinated who are critically ill. That being said, if you're a vaccinated individual, you get sick, you can still spread it. You can give it to somebody who's unvaccinated and then they can become critically ill. So getting tested and knowing that you have it is helpful because then you'll be extra careful to make sure you don't give it to somebody else. And what are your guidelines for when we should get tested? Um, frankly, if you have symptoms, I mean, so what would symptoms be? If, if, if you've got a cold of any type, you know, you've got a runny nose, you've got a cough, you've got a fever, you feel run down, achy, myalgia, body aches, muscle aches, anything like that uh, should prompt you to go get tested. Okay, so if the test comes back positive, when do you get treatment for that? That's a good question. Um, so if you are an outpatient and you've got a runny nose, very mild symptoms, maybe a little bit of achiness, maybe a little bit of fever. You really, odds are you, you don't need to be seen if, if you don't have any medical problems. However, if you have medical problems or you're an older adult, and what do I mean by medical problems? Are you overweight? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have diabetes? Do you have heart disease? If you have any of those, those underlying conditions and you're sick, then you should talk to your doctor about receiving treatment. The, tre the treatment options may include a monoclonal antibody infusion, something called Regeneron, which helps keep the disease from getting worse, or they may prescribe something else that helps manage the symptoms better. A lot of people say, you know what, it's probably gonna go away anyway. I don't need to get checked out and they wait until it gets really bad. When is it bad enough to go to the emergency room? Um, if you're short of breath, that's a that's a key indicator. So if you know if you're feeling shortness of breath, you need to go get checked out. Um, if you happen to have an oximeter at home where you monitor your oxygen level and it's dropping low into the 80s, you need to go get checked out. 
um, if your symptoms are so bad, you can't take care of yourself, you can't eat a meal, you can't, you know, get up and walk across the room and take care of yourself, you probably ought to get checked out then too. Once people have survived COVID, they made it through, what do they need to be doing to protect themselves and everyone else? Yeah, good question. Um, so vaccination still is important, right? Um, so even if you've had it, we know that becoming vaccinated can boost your immunity to help protect you from getting it again. And remember that when you do that, you, you may say to yourself, well, I've already got immunity because I've already had it. You know, why not go get something that boosts your immunity so that you can protect your neighbor, right? Part of the reason why you're doing this is to protect your friends and family. That's why vaccination is so important. So even if you've had it, you've recovered, getting a vaccine is still a very good idea. Have you started to see people yet who've had COVID more than once? Um, there have been a handful of patients who've had what look like repeat infections. Um, I've yet to see one that is severe, someone who is truly critically ill, who's come back with a second infection. What about parents? There's a whole lot of them out there who are waiting for their kids to be able to get the shot. How do they best protect those kids until they can get it? Yeah, you're talking to one. I've, I've got an 11 year old and a three year old and I would love for them to be able to be vaccinated. Um, but what we do is we just make sure that they wear masks when we go out in public. Um, they, my daughter's in Guilford County Schools and so she wears a mask when she gets on the bus and when she's at school with her friends and she practices good hand hygiene and, you know, they know all about how to, uh, you know, s social distance and keep their distance from each other, play with their friends outside. I mean, all those things are very important and if sick, you know, if they're exposed to somebody at school who's sick, well, monitor for symptoms, get tested after an exposure. You know, we, we try to follow all those rules to mitigate the spread.